if you wanna learn one tip and one drill that you can go out and use by yourself to improve your forehand and add more power and spin, you need to stay tuned. I know that sounds too good, but stay tuned and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. So hi, my name is Kevin Garlington from ForehandDomination.com and like I promised, I wanna share with you one tip and one drill that you can use to improve your forehand, add more power and spin. So what is that? It's having a complete finish. A lot of times I see players out and they're trying to work on their forehand and trying to hit it harder. And what I see happening is they're hitting balls and getting really stiff and you see this going on right here. You see all the stiffness here. Well, that's not having a complete finish. And what you're doing when you're getting stiff, you're actually slowing down your racket, which means you're slowing down the amount of spin and power you can put into the ball. So how do I get over this? How do I make sure that when I'm swinging, I have this great, nice fluid finish? Well, the, uh, the drill I have for you is simply catching the racket. So what I'm gonna show you is basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop a ball in a second and I'm gonna swing, but when I swing, I'm gonna let the racket come all the way around and then I'm gonna catch it and release it with my right hand and catch it in my left. What this does is it helps you, first of all, relax your arm since you're gonna to have to let the racket go. It's really hard to let the racket go and clutch the racket. Since I'm gonna let the racket go at the end, it keeps my arm relaxed and it also makes me not slow it down but get it into this position where I'm finishing. Now you may be saying, you know, Kevin, my forehand doesn't finish this high. And that's fine. Forehands are going to finish in all different uh, places based on where you want to hit it. If I was hitting an uh, angle, I would do the same thing and have it finish lower. So I don't want you to get caught up in where it's finishing. I want you to get caught up in finishing that forehand and throwing it all the way to the finish. So what this looks like is this. I have my ball. You can go out and do this on your own. All I'm gonna do is drop it in front of me here, and I released it. Again, take the ball, drop it in front of me, and I release it. You're gonna notice I have tons of racket acceleration. I'm not slowing my hand down, and this is what's gonna make your forehand bigger and have more spin on it. Also, same thing happens if I'm hitting a passing shot. I wanna make sure I continue to have that racket acceleration so I can bring that ball down and dip it to my opponent's feet. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and make sure you stay tuned for other videos that I produce on this channel. Make sure you subscribe on this channel or check me out on forehanddomination.com. This is Kevin Garlington and Play Tough.